My name's uh, Stuart Mapplebeck. I've worked for Whitbread for about three years now, and I'm currently a reception team leader at Halifax Town Centre Premier Inn. Um, I was unemployed. Um, I was kind of a little bit lost. Uh, I'd say very, very demotivated. Um, and going to the job centre, um, my advisor um, talked to me about a new opening at Halifax Town Centre Premier Inn. I went through, obviously, the, the recruitment process and was successful, um, and then was given a position of reception team member part-time. In my first year of joining uh, Whitbread, I got an opportunity to, to join a, an intermediate level two apprenticeship programme. More importantly as well, personally for me, it gave me the opportunity to revisit my maths and uh, English, um, something that I've uh, struggled with and didn't get them qualifications in school. Um, and obviously for my, my future career, it's something that needs to be embedded in, in me. Moving from that, I was promoted uh, to a section team leader, which gave me um, a new challenge back at site and showed me that first sort of step up on that, um, that career ladder. And then I joined uh, the Shooting Stars Bronze programme, which um, was the first step up into sort of understanding uh, managing hotel operations. Then the big year was being um, allowed the opportunity to join the, uh, the Level 4 Higher Apprenticeship in Hospitality Management. I think obviously looking at the apprenticeship already straight away you can get the idea from myself that um, it's had a, a massive professional benefit to me but more so it's been a personal journey for me. I've been allowed the opportunity to, to rebuild my life is what I've been given to some people that might not mean um, a massive amount but this has been, um, especially the level four particularly, um, has shown me that hospitality is a, 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 a viable career option for me. So what makes Whitbread such a great place and special place to work um, within is uh, the opportunity um, for growth. Um, particularly um, sort of for me, coming from my background and not being in any form of employment with no prospects, no opportunity to, to go into any viable career option, that's, been, that's what Whitbread has provided me with. Um, and it's put me on a, um, the right path in my life now. Um, from an outsider perspective, people that don't know, they won't see the impact, but at home with my family, my friends, my colleagues and people that know me have seen a massive stark difference to the person that I was, particularly on my level of confidence. My name is Neil Rafford. I'm currently studying for my A-levels. I signed up for Believe in Young People and they put me in a one-week work experience at Premier in Hendon. A week later, I got offered a part-time job working weekends. When I first joined Premier Inn, the first couple of weeks were tough for me. However, as the weeks flew by, my managers and my colleagues helped me a lot to get through it and they supported me a lot. Hi, what can I get you? The most I enjoy about my job is meeting new people, for example, talking to the guests every week and also having a really good shift with my colleagues because I get on well with them. I didn't really know there was opportunities for people my age, but now that I work there, I know there are loads of opportunities for people like me to develop. Premier Inn gave me my first job and that boosted my confidence that I can get any job now. How's your stay so far? It's quite oh, yeah, really, really good. good. Yeah. Is there anything else that I can get you? I would love to stay at Premier Inn as I'm still young. I want to develop my skills and I know that I can do that here because there are many opportunities for me to do that. My name's S.C. Andrasek and I'm a Costa Operations graduate. I've only started three months ago and I'm currently doing an assistant manager placement in London and next I'll be moving on to a store manager placement. When I first started working for Costa, I just fell in love with the vibe and the buzz of it. I just really enjoyed it as a part-time job. It was really fun for a student and I just really like making coffee. I just really enjoyed all of it and now that I get to learn about the management aspect of it, it's just been taken to a whole new level. I've had loads of support which is really good because it's been challenging. I've learned a lot about leadership that I didn't know before. I think leadership is an ongoing process, you don't just learn it all at once. Today, normally we should be at least 300, 350 yeah. by now. Okay. So I learned a lot about that but there's still a lot to go. I've learned about all the management tasks which has been really interesting but more importantly I've learned about people. I've learned how to work with people, how to observe them, how to help them, how to listen to them and how to manage them efficiently. So next March I'll be moving into a store manager role, somewhere in London probably. My personal end goal is to be an area manager by the end of the two years. However, some of the other graduates I know would like to end up working in head office, potentially in marketing or in HR. It's completely open to whatever you want it to be. 
I think the main thing I enjoy is the support I get. So as a graduate, I get a sponsor, I get a buddy, I get a mentor, I get a HR manager, I get all these people constantly looking after me and constantly calling me like, how are you feeling, are you okay, and arranging appointments. So that's been really good because it's really challenging to start a graduate scheme all on your own, especially in a big city. I think one of the biggest things about the company is that it's really important to invest in people. So managers are really encouraged to just make sure that all the, the succession pipeline has been all planned out and that they make sure that they have um, one-to-ones with everyone every month and that they have their personal development plans already. So I, again, I know that from experience as a barista, my manager would take time out to train me, ask me what my ideas were about the future, whether I wanted to stay in the company, whether I wanted to progress. I've been told that, you know, there's just endless opportunities. You can, you know, there's no, like, end goal to the graduate scheme. They don't say, this is what you're going to become, and then that's the end of it. They said, you know, you, you can do whatever you like with this scheme. You can go as far as you want. You can stay with us afterwards, and you can just move up and up and up.